This is a color wheel. It is a visual demonstration of how color works and how depth affects the color. Today we're going to completely hack the color system to go from this very orange brassy hair to the most beautiful, luxurious, rich emerald green color. Let's get into it. I'm a little bit naughty. I'm a little bit too consumed. But everybody... If you are in any way artistic, you are most likely familiar with the color wheel. It is used in a variety of implementations, but it is extremely essential in the hair dressing community. This is my hair at the moment. Aside from it being a very frazzled state, it is a gingery coppery color down here. It's got a band of yellow right over here. And then I've got my natural, beautiful roots growing up, kind of an inch. And I'm gonna take it here, a color that could not be more opposing when compared to what I have now. Now this video is getting my excitement levels very high because we are using science and color theory knowledge to get my absolute favorite hair color ever, your favorite hair color too. Problem is it's on the absolute hardest base. So I need to calm down a bit first. I need to meditate a tiny bit. Today I'm doing that with my favorite Kenzie IPL handset. The magic device of the hair removal world. For the past few videos now, I've made this massive fuss about wanting to remove all of my leg hair before the summer. And ladies and gents, we are finally nearing the exit. There are legit only a few individual hairs left and it's literally making me giddy with excitement. So today we're going to just casually remove them all. This video is brought to you once more by Kenzie. At this point, they are just paying me to be hairless, which is a fantastic deal for me because at this point, I am a hairless bunny. The Kenzie IPL works by sending out rays of light that targets the melanin in the hair follicle, the very thing that gives out the hair color. It zaps the hair and then that hair no longer grows. It's as simple as that. The reason that we have to do this process so often, I've been doing it for months now is because we've got thousands of hair on our body and this little device cannot get them all at once especially because some hairs might be dormant or not grown out yet but if we do this regularly enough and we go over the leg arm chest enough times the Kenzie IPL would have the best chance of hitting them all it's painless odorless and doesn't leave any ingrowns and if you're attempting to de-hair your naughtier bits It'll save you from having your junk uh, in the face of some poor soul in a clinic. I can do both my legs in around 20 minutes, but I genuinely have very little hair now. So I'm just nitpicking the area and going over the areas that have any fluff remaining. By this time next month, I'll have to pick a new body part to zap because my legs will be completely hairless. Overall, I would say I started definitely seeing results by like week two to three, but now it's probably around week 12 or so that I decided to like fully get rid of my leg hair and I literally have just the tiniest bit of loose hairs. I highly recommend trying the Kenzie if you also want to go hairless this summer and you wish to avoid dealing with shaving, waxing, or going to a laser clinic. Use code STEL20 for 20% off and try out this magic device yourself. You can visit the link down below or go directly to kenzie.com, that's K-E-N-Z-Z-I.com and you can find the device there. Let's get hairless together. This is the color wheel. It represents all the tones of the rainbow colors that we as humans are able to see. And the further down we go, it represents the depth of the hair color. These are our primary colors. These colors make up all the rest of the colors. Now, I wanna get to this strip right over here. And I wanna get my color somewhere here. Now my hair color at the moment is somewhere over here. Now here's what we know of color theory. The complementary or neutralizing color to orange is blue. Similarly, if we had very green hair, we could add red or vice versa. And if we had yellow hair, we would add purple. But how do we get here? Some people would say, what if we just mix up this color and just add it onto it? But the reality is that that could not work because if I just mixed up this dye and I added it onto this orange that I have now, my end color would be somewhere there, which is ugly as fuck. So then how do we get from here to here? If I have this shade of orange and I add on a very vibrant true blue, the end color would meet somewhere here. 
that is how we hack it. I am now ready. These are the two colors that I have currently on my hair, albeit they are a bit faded. And this is the color that I normally use to get the emerald green hair when I normally have cool or silver hair as a base. But let's see what happens if I put this together. Here's what we have so far. Current hair color. Second current hair color. Color I would normally use. And proposed colors to use. I want to demonstrate this on this beautiful card because I genuinely have no other paper and also free advertising of my brand, Stellari. This is my current hair color. Here's what happens if I add nothing but green. Green it would turn extremely muddy. Now here's what happens if I were to add blues. Emerald green. The base of our color will drastically affect whatever we put on top of it. And because my base is very, very strongly orange, if I add any green onto it, it's going to turn very muddy. If I add blue onto it, however, we got the perfect shade of emerald. Here's what these colors would look like if there was absolutely a white base, which I do not have. As you can see, the base hair color drastically affects what would normally be. This color over here is what I have right now. And if I were to add a very vibrant blue onto it, like I did here, I would end up somewhere in the middle like it is here. If I were to add nothing but the green onto it, I would end up somewhere in the middle like it is here. Obviously, this is literally just for demonstrations because I'm going to be putting not this color onto my hair, but this one, the vibrant blue mixture that would on normal base be a very blur bright blue, but because we don't have a normal base, it's gonna be somewhere there. I'm going to be using these two colors, mostly aquamarine actually, because it is actually much deeper than it is visible over here, but a tiny bit of Poseidon too from Arctic We know what tone of color we're going to use, but I have over here a strip of yellow. Now I could be completely lazy and just apply the same dye everywhere, which I do typically. I have two options. One of the ways that I could tackle this is that I can apply the same dye that I have here onto this to even out my base and then I'll go over it with one base. Or I can mix up two different blue pigment dyes to cancel out the yellow more on this side and to cancel out the orange more on this side, which is what I'm gonna be doing. Two bowls, two brushes, let's get mixing. For the majority of my hair color, because most of my hair is this ginger color, I'm going to be using mainly just straight up aquamarine. Tiny bit of pulse halo. And let's mix it up. That is beautiful. For my roots, however, because they are more kind of a yellow toned and because I need a shorter distance, so to speak, to get to it, I just need kind of a, a darker, paler blue. I'm actually going to go in with literally raw aquamarine. I am actually going to put in it the tiniest hint of ginger flare. Just add in that orange that this is going to give. There we are, We're getting there. I need this, and I already stained my fingers. Good thing I've got my stellar hair in your hands. Company tagline t-shirt. Sorry, I'm shit at advertising my own brand. Did you know I have a brand? Did you know you can buy my brushes? Did you know that? Link them down below. You're welcome. Here, 15% off, just for you. YouTube 15, use it at checkout. Free shipping for all of US and UK. Now, because the most interesting part of the video happened in the beginning of the video and you've seen this next process about a million and ten times, I'm going to be watching the last season of Mrs. Maisel. So, enjoy!
So you can see how blue it is here, right? It's like blue, but here, I'm not gonna touch it, but it's it's not blue, it is not blue, okay? I'm gonna clean myself up because I look like a hot mess. Let it process and then show you the, hopefully, emerald green color. I'll be back soon. In three, two, one. Wow, I'm impressed at myself. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for all your kind support through the years to keep going back to Emerald. Honestly, you guys love this color more than I do. He's so beautiful. I genuinely feel like I am gently shifting towards an old Stella inspired new Stella. Because it's like this haircut never had before but this color it's a gem it is my baby it is my beauty it is something that i will hold close to my heart for all my years to come ladies and gentlemen this is how you hack the color theory system to go from a horrid ginger color to a very insane emerald green color i fucking love shaving my head off hair off uh and i will do it again but i i missed i missed braiding my hair i missed it so much look look it's like an arrow oh my god i love it. secondly she's beautiful so as you can see okay the roots of my roots are pretty much the same that makes sense because we use a semi-permanent color semi-permanent color does not lift which means it does not alter virgin hair or hair that is darker than it semi-permanent hair works best on lighter colors my ends were kind of a level seven ish or so which was perfect for this insanely beautifully rich emerald toned hair color. The yellow got evened out beautifully. I can see that it is hinting the tiniest bit more green, which to be fair, I am absolutely digging. But overall, the whole color is so uniform. It is so vibrant and it is so, so, so emerald. There's not a hint of true green, but more importantly, there's not a hint of true blue, even though that is the color that we used. Hence my nails. Color theory. <sighs> So the next time you bleach your hair and it gets to that very weird ginger color and you don't particularly want to obviously work the ginger color, rest assured you have many, many, many options to get you by. In fact, some of them are going to blow your mind like emerald green. To this day, it is the only blue-green color that no matter what skin tone I see it on, it is just the perfect color to brighten up someone's face without making it look like seaweed, without making you look ashy or sick or pale. It is rich, it is vibrant, and it is beautiful. All the products I use are going to be listed down in the description box below, so you can try out every single one, obviously. I use these colors based on my initial analysis of my hair color. My hair was orange, hence we used blue. If your hair is white, you have to dye your hair emerald. If your hair is red, completely different thing. But if you have this exact hair color or you like the idea of experimenting, it's up to you. Also going to be linking down below the Kenzie device. This is the IPL device, the only IPL device that you require 
if you want to get rid of your hair this summer. Use code STEL20 for 20% off and you can visit the link down below or you can go directly to kenzie.com. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, join the Stellar Fam, let's learn a thing or two together. And if you have the next best idea that you want me to try, head over to House of Hair on stellarihair.com and leave your comments and your voice below. The next idea that I take from there, you are getting direct credit or whatever it is that I pick. I'm counting on you guys to give me the next best thing. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a go and I will see you in my next video. Bye babies. I love you. <laughs>